Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today in this video of Refine, we are going to look at how easy it is to add filters, sorters and a search functionality to our table that we just created in our previous video. To quickly recap, in our last video, we saw how easy it is to create a new React based you know, refine rather refine based on an admin application we looked at creating a crud screen and this is our listing of posts we were able to pretty quickly get a table with paginations and stuff like that and the idea is to extend this table and make it you know, filterable sortable through the features that we get with refine so let's get started. First thing that we would like to do is maybe inside our status column, right? We should be able to add a filter so that we are able to sort or rather filter all the posts by their statuses. Now we already have this column over here and then what we can do is add a filter dropdown. There is a property inside table column called filter dropdown. And we will pass certain options to it so that the dropdown can render itself. We get the props over here as an argument. And then we pass the actual filter drop down with its values as radio group. We are going to use the ant design libraries radio component. There is a group element to it. Oh my bad. First we need to define the drop down so we will use the filter drop down and design component over here and this component should get all the props that are being passed and then we have our radio group and radio group will have radio items So yes, this is done and now if I go to my application, if you see over here, I have the ability to filter things based on the status. So I can clear out things, I can look at some specific posts and all the paginations and stuff are maintained based on my filter selection. And I guess you will agree this is a pretty neat and handy way to apply filter in a very easy manner. Right? So now we have our filters. The next thing that we would like to do is also add a sort. Now if I clear everything which is over here and if I refresh, can you see right now my listing is based on the post id in an ascending order which means i will get the latest one as the last item but ideally i would like to have it in the other you know, the other way around so how do we do that well refine has kind of sorted that out for us let me show you how over here in the use table but actually before that what I will do is you know, add an interface for the post. Sorry, index.d.ts. And I will define my you know, post thing, post interface.
okay so i added these four fields as of now and what i will do is i'll basically define that the use table right now is of this type now the use table also allows us to add the sorting and what we can easily do is there's a property called sorters and that takes an object and inside that object i would be able to define an initial sort rule where it takes an array and says that my field is id and the order of that field will be descending and now if i hit save come over here refresh the page can you see there are some arguments that have been added page size is 10 current is 1 and then the next important part which is sorters 0 field id equal field equals id and sorters 0 order equals descending which basically means i am able to add multiple sorts hence they are using the 0th field maybe the first field stuff like that and it by default is adding that sorter why because i said this is going to be my initial thing right so yeah that's this is again a neat little thing which i wanted to show you and then there is a small you know, nice thing which is the ability to search as well and i feel this is also you know, a very handy thing to do but before we do that there are certain changes that we will have to make first the use table will also additionally have an http error thing http and then let's define a small not rather small an interface for search and say that we will be getting a title property which is of type string and we mention it here okay now once we do this the use table hook allows us to get search from props and obviously we get one more property over here which is on search on search we get the values and this is how we configure it it's an object which will return an array and we can define multiple fields but right now we are saying that the field that we want to search for is title then we have a property called operator I have the ability to do all these permutations and combinations I'll do contains the value values dot title and this is over here and it understands that the value is of type I search because we first defined the interface and we passed it over here if I had one more item to it it would have understood that particular thing so the on search configuration is done but as of now our table doesn't know where to show it right because we haven't done anything to it so why don't we render a form on top of the table an ant library form we pass the search form properties to it and then we do form dot item name will be title input from the font sorry the ant design library and that's about it last thing is save button
on click on on click i should get search form form props then the form and then submit okay i'll just make this form layout as inline with this in place i will start seeing this thing over here and if i search for this particular word i can see this right and hence you can understand the power of this library because you know, on top of and design with this particular you know table hook can you see how easy it is with just a few lines of code we are able to add filter sort and so many things inside our table component and you know from let's say 20 to this 44 around 24 lines of code for our layout or the you know the components markup and our business logic so far has been only these few lines so little code to get so many functionalities is something which i really like about this library because if you are doing configurations then you are doing something which is well tested this library has been used by a lot of people so you know, things are not going to break you can be pretty confident about what you are shipping and the most important thing is for any particular crud right you are not writing certain code again and again you can just very easily copy these things and be done with that so yeah that's about it guys that's what i wanted to show you in this video let me know what are your thoughts if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel